welcome to my video. So I get to France and I start uh, having to cut everything quite quickly. Uh, it's really very much a, a thing that I have to make the most of all the time that I've got so I really have to race through everything as best I can because uh, at the end I always end up with not enough work finished. So I'd cut out the piece here you can see and um, welded in these steps that I'd had bent at a local engineering place just so I'd have a nice curve for once. Um, yeah, because the steps, I really wanted that nice tight radius and I just would not be able to get that through my normal methods of bending stainless steel or steel plate. It's only two millimeters, but it still takes quite a bit to get it right. Um, so here I am welding in the steps after the first fit. Um, it's a little bit difficult trying to get all the angles and geometry right. But Here's my welds going in with a nice little bit of gap there just so I can ensure that I get penetration between the joints. That's steel to stainless steel, so I've used 309 LSI wire. Um, I'm still using the standard CO2, a little bit of argon in it, gas. Technically you should go for a, an argon gas um, with stainless just to uh, ensure you don't get blackening of the weld. But on a single pass weld like I do, it seems to work fine. I mean, uh, stainless on that I welded 20 years ago and yeah it's nice and shiny there's no rust on it or anything like that other than what you get on 304. Um, yeah so then I start welding off and um, oh one of the things I've got to say is that I found that using anti-splatter spray seems to make a big difference um, to how the weld goes. Uh, just, uh, not how the world goes, how it looks afterwards. It seems to really make it just tidy up the world. I don't know why, but hey, it works. Uh, it always looks like Benny Hill when I run one of these videos like this. Uh, but um, yeah, here I am grinding around trying to prepare the the plate, uh, one of the small quarter plates I was going to put in. This is the way I thought I could best make a nice shape on the edge of the steps. Um, so I wanted something that looks nice as well as being functional. You could argue that I should have kept the, the step going the full width of the front, but then it would look ugly. And I'd rather have something that's half usable and pretty than really usable and ugly. <laughs> Not quite the right way around, I know. Um, so, yeah, at this stage I'm about two days in. Um, I've been working continuously from very early in the morning to very late at night. Uh, usually I use a light to extend the daylight because this was October. Um, getting pretty tired at this point as well. But uh, yeah, when I get back from one of these trips, typically I'll be um, pretty much knackered for the first few days uh, on the return. I actually need a holiday to get over the holiday. What I'm doing here is I'm fitting a nice Vetus stainless steel port light. I managed to get this relatively cheap from a place in Portsmouth. Um, if you go online, they give you a reasonable discount off of retail. Um, and um, basically, I wanted the stainless steel port light because it's classified to, I think it's A1, so ocean use. It's the highest classification you can get. Um, I wanted it in stainless steel so I wouldn't have any issues with um, electrolysis in the joint or anything like that. I also came with a nice little motor, um, mosquito screen on the back. So I positioned it slightly over to one side so I don't kick it every time I walk up and down the steps. I was really worried about that. But in actual fact, it worked fine. Uh, I don't get anywhere close to kicking it. Um, so it was a pretty good sort of mix between the two. So here I'm starting the second part. Um, I very much got straight into this one and didn't have much time for recording anything. Uh, this is the cabin modification. It's to give me a bit more head height in the cabin and a little bit more light and reduce some weight. Again, I got about 30 kilograms off that and that's just about the job finished. It was a difficult job. Yeah, and now back to work again. Great. Thanks for watching.